Hi Sequels friends! Today we are doing my favorite type of video to do and that is an update recap. Today's update recap is on a men's 25 pound thread up box. So if you're curious to know how much money you can make by purchasing a men's thread up box then you will definitely want to keep on watching. Hi Sequels friends, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is so fabulous to have you here. I do very, very much appreciate you tuning in. If you happen to be new, my name's Heather. I'm a part-time reseller across various platforms and I love to document my journey, reselling journey here on YouTube. So let's get right into it. Update recap videos, you know I love them. Nothing brings me more excitement than to share with you the outcome of an unboxing. First off, I have to say thank you to all of my sequels friends who, it's been a while, but you guys were the ones who told me to experiment with the men's thread up box. In doing some unboxings, I said that I was really enjoying thread up unboxings and which one did you guys feel makes the most money and suggest that I give a try. And a bunch of you guys suggested the men's thread up box and I love that, I appreciate that. That's what I love about having this YouTube channel is sharing this knowledge because it has now become, it might be scarf, you know, scarves don't make me as much money even though I really do love the scarf, love me a scarf box. It might be shoes, men's and scarves is my top three. I think it might be. This unboxing is from just about a year ago. I don't know why you guys, I am bad sometimes about getting to these recaps. <sighs> And then I'll do a whole bunch of them at one time. So be prepared. You're probably going to see a few this month. <laughs> but I just, I love them. So I still think it's worthwhile, even though the information is a little bit old. This one I shared with you on May 25th, and it is the 25 pound clothing box. I received 26 items. I only listed 23. I gotta tell you, this thread up men's box is not a good box because my partner loves to steal things out of this box. And in fact, I think I even mentioned in that video that there was a jacket, a coat, a wool coat he had his eye on, and sure enough, that wool coat is in the coat closet. <laughs> and also there was a really beautiful Everlane sweater, gorgeous quality, really beautiful. And that Everlane sweater is in his closet. And let me tell you, that is about $150 worth of merchandise from this box that I was not anticipating not selling. So I will, um, at the end of this video share what my gross projections would be if I kept those items because you may not have a partner who likes to steal out of your men's thread up box. <laughs> it cost $110. I do believe it's flat 110 which means I didn't have to pay any shipping or tax on it. Um, listing 23 items that made my projected or my cost of goods when I made the video of $4.78. Gross projections and again gross projections are based on the comps that I researched during the time that I created the video. So the comps that I researched probably at the end of April, beginning of May, across Poshmark and eBay, led me to believe, and I always do a high-low range because you can always mark down easier than marking up. It's much more fair to the customer, and I like to send out offers. So my range came in at $766 to $1,034. Now, of the 26 items, I really only listed 22 because as I mentioned, I ended up, I think I didn't, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't remember exactly how it works out, but I know I have 22 items on my list. I'm not sure which ones in the video I projected in the projections versus kept. Um, but because there were only 22 out of the 26 listed, that bumped my cost of goods up to five dollars and i do want to let you guys know the thing that i think i love the most about the men's thread up box is i listed these items uh, at the end of or these items were listed by the time i created this video at the end of may and by the end of june i had already sold through 50 percent of this box so 50 percent of this box sold through in one month that is phenomenal so four items over 20 bucks let's talk about them lululemon I can't, I can't not hear Lululemon in my head. I can't, I can't. 
You guys have ruined Lululemon, although I could give two, shit, two shits about Lululemon, except for the price that it brings me in money, because you know Lululemon don't care about my fat ass. All right, Lululemon hoodie sold on eBay, all in. That means the price plus the shipping at $45.99, and I ended up putting in my bank account $30.40. This Emporio Armani jeans, um, I sold these on Posh at 40 bucks and I ended up netting $35. New with tags, Under Armour pullover. I was surprised there were a de decent amount of new with tags item in this box. And this one netted me over 20 bucks. I sold it on Posh for $35 and put in my bank account 23. And then also if you saw my, it was a little while ago, I did a flip of the week. And um, I showed this item, which I was super stoked about in the unboxing video. I'm still super stoked about it. I love learning about new designers. I don't know a lot about streetwear, so I was super excited to learn about a streetwear brand. And I was highly excited that this item retails for over $550 or something. But I just am not getting the watchers, did not get the views on it, and slowly, slowly, slowly lowered the price until I could get somebody to buy it. And so it ended up selling just all in at $47.99, and I netted $25.89 on it. Not bad for a t-shirt, but a little disappointing with the quality and a true designer streetwear piece. A little disappointed it didn't do better. To date, I have grossed $476.23. Love that. It is a nice gross number. But you know, gross means diddly squat to me because I want to know how much money I get to keep. And I put in my bank account $254.37. That is a 53% return on my investment. I do have five items remaining. Yes, after about a year, <laughs> I still have five items, but they are all on clearance. And to be honest with you, they're gonna sit on clearance until the next time I clear out of old items and redonate them. Um, and hopefully there won't be five items by that time. Um, but of the five items that remain, they're really worth about 50 bucks of what's remaining. That's what they're listed for. If you take that 53% um, ROI and let's take 53% of 50 bucks to figure out how much money could we potentially put in our pocket, well, it's a whopping $26.47. Um, but just for all transparency and fairness, if you added that $26.47 to the $254.37 we've already made, it means that we have the potential to net, total net, into our bank account on this box of $280.84. Not bad for $110 investment. I do like to see three times the investment on this box. And I gotta be honest with you guys, if I would have listed the Everlane sweater and the coat, I would have seen three times the investment. I would have guessed um, uh, net on those, I probably could have made 80 bucks between the two, and that would have gotten me up to about $360, which would definitely have been three times the return on this investment. So it's fine with me, it's not a big deal. For the cost of goods being $5, and that I got my partner a winter coat and a sweater for 10 bucks, still way worth it for me um, in the long run. So I'm happy with that. So what do you guys think? Is that a good return on a men's box? How do you feel about it? Do you think that that was a good box? Have you made more money on a return? I do believe that my projections were a little high on that box. I did have more problems last year with being a little bit overzealous on my projections, which I'm trying to work on this year, just bringing it down a little bit, a little notch to be a little bit more realistic because I'd rather know exactly, I'd rather under predict and oversell. <laughs> I'd rather my predictions come in low and um, my sales overshoot that than vice versa. Um, it's always better to be a little bit more pessimistic so that you're optimistic with that extra money that you get rather than planning for extra money that doesn't come in. I don't know. That's how I work. How do you guys work? Um, I would love to know how you feel about thread up boxes in general, but specifically men's. And let me know, what is your favorite thread up box? Is the men's box still your favorite box? And by favorite box, I don't mean favorite to unbox 
or favorite to, you know, just order. I mean favorite as in which one makes you the most money? Which one are you excited to get because you know you're going to see the best return? Let's comment below and see if it's still in the men's box like it was last time and or if anything's changed. Um, so let's see how that turns out. We'll talk about that in the comment section below. As always, I do appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy and valuable limited time that you have to come and watch my YouTube videos. You guys will probably never understand how much of the world it means to me. And it also helps me keep accountable with my reselling business, which thereby, aside from all of your comments and input, also just the act of you watching helps my business which thereby makes me a better reseller so thank you so so much for that i really do have unlimited gratitude to you for um always tuning in thank you very very much um that is it for this video i will be back later in the week with some more reselling content you guys have a fabulous weekend and i'll see you then bye Hi Sequels friends, welcome, welcome back to my channel.